Jesus Christ, there's so much going on here. Oh, my flash is on! <laughs> I mean, I'm not really too sure what's happening. Why is my flash keep going on? That was crazy. I wasn't planning on making a vlog tonight, but I guess I guess I will just I a did. little bit. I did. Hi everybody, say hi to Camden. Also, Brandon's here with his not blown up STI. He's back in business. Huh? What, what, what are we pointing out here? Oh, oh. Old school or no school? I don't know, bro. I personally wouldn't take it. All right, I got this. I got this. <laughs> Transfer the weight. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Love that. Oh my god, this is exactly what we this is exactly what we don't want in the car scene, right? Yeah. I cannot believe what I am seeing right now. I knew that bro. I knew <laughs> my wheel! My wheel! Everything's fine, bro. Check. Oh, God. Uh, uh, God, he's so much smaller than me. Uh, oh, gosh. New car, who this? Yep. Stage one clutch, baby. You doing YouTube? I YouTube. Follow me at KBL85. That should be a Tennessee play with all that. Not everyone taking pictures of our cool cars. What? No. Maybe. No. <laughs> Maybe. I think this is gonna be a super short video, very scattered, but honestly, hope you guys enjoyed. Just want to show you the cool little me. It's my buddy Ramon. He also makes YouTube videos. Yes, sir. Uh, on the boy Jiggy over on YouTube. Whoa. <laughs> What's up guys? That car meet was pretty cool until it wasn't, um, but I did meet some nice people, got to meet up with some old friends, and uh, it was a nice experience. Definitely should get out more. I am just taking off all of my A pillars, B pillars, and 
C pillar, whatever the fuck that one back there is called. Also have wheel bearings that came in, so we're gonna end up doing those soon. Maybe not in this video, but maybe in this video, so we'll see. The day in the life videos are always scattered, you guys know, but hope you guys enjoy. For this one right here, I'm gonna get a little flathead and just pop that cover right off. And then there's a 14 millimeter bolt back there. Take that off, this will come off. And then same as the front, it will just pop right off. And same with the rear, 14 millimeter bolt after that cover comes off and then just pop that right off as well. All right, all of the pillars on both sides are out. Now I'm gonna start working on getting the oh shit bars out. All of that is out. I wasn't initially gonna be taking my headliner out, but that it looks like that's what I'm gonna be doing. So um, I just gotta take out the oh shit bars on that side and the one in the back. I'm gonna take this off, take this off. These should just pry right out, like, you know, with a couple of clips. And then, uh, yeah, we'll keep we'll keep going at this. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned, but I ended up moving back to my dad's because honestly, everything is super expensive and it's a smart decision at the age that I am to just be home. So that's where I am. Got every piece of the interior out and a couple extra pieces like this uh, new vent holder for my access port, which I've had for a long time, courtesy of Pedro, but I've never actually put it in because I'm super lazy. So that's just one of those little things that I decided while I'm here, might as well do. Now that those are masked off, time to get to painting. This paint is spraying terribly. I thought I shook it enough, but I guess not. So we're gonna keep shaking it for a minute and get back to it. <coughs> right, shook it a little bit and it started spraying a lot better. Uh, whew. I was gonna keep time lapsing for you guys, but I think I just wanna show you the finished products after they're all done so I can kinda just focus on it and get it done. I finally started to get everything looking pretty. I put a coat of silver under this so it would kinda flake a little bit with the red tint that I used. I'm gonna go over this a couple more times with a few more coats and then clear everything and that'll be all set. Same with all of the A, B, C, whatever pillars. These are all done. I just have to put clear on these. I've been letting everything kinda just sit out here and dry, but honestly, all everything came out pretty good it's still got to dry a little bit it seems but pretty even all around uh once i clear everything i think i think it'll look nice all right i officially have just about everything in there i decided i'll just put it back in and i'll do the headliner again some other time but i don't want to ride around with not a full interior it's looking all a little weird with like the red on the beige but once that's black it'll look really good the red vents with the red access port holder black a pillars Everything's looking pretty nice. I, the red to me just looks weird on the beige, but it does give it a little bit of a splash of color. And I like that. I know this was a bit of a scattered video, probably on the shorter side, but thank you all for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And um, the next video we do, maybe we'll be doing wheel bearings, not sure. But stay tuned for the next one and I'll see you soon.